Bread of Life Center, and it is a free community kitchen. Barbecued ribs today? Okay, yeah. Wow, this is really fantastic. Where can you go and get a meal of barbecued ribs for free? Good deal. That's it. And how long have you guys been volunteering here? This is my uh, second Monday. Your second Monday? Second Monday. And you are with Food Service Department at Ridge Haven Conference Center. How did you get here? Just knowing Michael and I volunteer twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays. My son is down in Florida, or up in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's really great that you came up here on vacation, and now you're volunteering? Yeah, I brought him along. We need an additional worker. Well, you need We're an additional worker. Sure. Sure. Oh, well, that is way cool. Thank you, guys. And this is someone so, who actually delivers the food for people. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that great? So if you oh, can't yeah. get out, they come and deliver it. What youth groups and civic groups and family night we do, if I don't trust them with knives, we have them bag up whole grain foods and dry goods that people have donated. Down here, we have them bag it up and label it, so when they come in, they not only get a hot meal so they can take with them, but they can take something off the table for the next few days. And we had two youth groups and the homeschoolers of Transylvania County come in over the last few days. So you see on the shelf over there, we had, for this week, we have dried milk, uh, non-fat dried milk, and we've got soybeans and dried beans and popcorn and peas. And then we also have a couple of other kidney beans and northern beans over here. And um, Subway Sandwich Shop and Food Lion and Poppies donate bread to us every day from the bakeries. And both local bakeries give to us twice a week. So we, we give out any breads that we have extra other than the meal that we serve today. And uh, participation is the key to change the world. And what we've done is we went to all the schools in the county and all the schools agreed to send their stuff at the end of the semesters to us, including the colleges. And the, the, uh, the homeschoolers of Transylvania County are also participating. And the summer camps deliver at the end of their year. They, they take care of um, the end of their stuff and send it to us. And local farmers, um, including all kinds of farms and throughout Transylvania County, gleaned their fields for us. So we got, at the end of their season, we got a lot of their, their vegetables that they were done with. Once the workers had their share, they gave the rest to us. So all those groups combined help us out throughout the year. And this, if they're too young to do knives, we have to work on the dry food bins. In the other room here is our pantry, and in the pantry, is basically what we have we have to give away foods for emergency purposes. And then, of course, uh, during the um, winter, we probably use more canned goods. We don't get as many fresh vegetables. But uh, it's three weeks worth of food in there if the, the shelves were all full. So that tells you about where we lie on how much further down the road we are. Okay, so you have about, what, two weeks worth in there? I could probably, if, if we got no food? more donations, I could probably go another two and some weeks. Yeah. Another two and some weeks. Yeah. And your donations, you rely upon who? Uh, we rely upon the citizens of Transylvania County, the churches, civic groups, the Boy Scouts, the school systems. We rely on the summer camps. Uh, we rely on, on just basically any individuals who believe that they're privileged, and with privilege comes responsibility. So they come in here and take care of the responsibility uh, for helping to serve those who have less than they do. And uh, that's pretty much what we do. And, and food, shelter, and access to medicine are really three basic necessities you have to have to order to, to build your life. If you don't have any of those, like if you're off your meds, or you don't have a place to sleep, or you don't have any hunger, you're in a crisis mode. And we are providing one of those right off the bat so that they won't have to think about that. And uh, with the economy being what it is, and unemployment, they get scared at the end of the month. And I know we're seeing a lot of increase towards the end of the month, and obviously in the winter time when there's less work. So uh, we, we, we operate through completely through volunteers and assistances of all the groups in the county who want to participate with us. Is there something that you really, really need? Uh, I would say canned food goods, uh, meats. In canned food goods, I'm thinking like canned vegetables, 
um, canned fruits, tuna, um, any sort of soups or things that you would put in a pantry, uh, spaghetti sauce, tomatoes, things like that. And then we also need like meat and um, any sort of uh, leftovers are also good. If somebody like made a potluck and had too much, they would bring it in and we would of course try to use what we can. And today you were serving ribs and it's like, wow, that's the a really cool Okay, meal. today is pretty cool because the Cattlemen's Association made us a donation and they came in and, um, and gave us a whole bunch of beef and a lot of it was ground beef and ribs. So today, uh, which is not normal, we actually have a great meal. Today we're serving barbecue spare ribs and um, one of the farms locally gleaned their fields and got sweet potatoes for us. So we're serving sweet potatoes on the side, a fresh fruit salad, a fresh garden salad, and a piece of bread and dessert. So good wow. full meal today and, and that's a little bit more than not normal really. But, but, but there again, it's not that you don't have a good meal every day, it's just that you don't have ribs yeah, every day. Yeah, I don't day. have barbecue ribs every day, no. But, but, but yes, it's a good meal every day. Often it's casseroles or baked chicken or like I said, we do an entree and, and, and a starch every day, a fresh fruit salad, a fresh um, uh, vegetable salad, and then we supplement with the canned goods what we don't have. Uh -huh. And you've been doing this for how long? Well, uh, about six and a half, seven years I've been involved with the Bread of Life. It's been open for basically 13 years now, going on 14. Wow. Um, I've been running it now, the operation, uh, for about a year and a half, almost two years now, I guess. Get to see our operation, and the gentleman who you met before works with TVS, which is Transylvania Vocational Center. The special needs folks from Transylvania come to work for the county, and one of the things they do is deliver food to us twice a week. So they are actually earning a living through the county, so they can pay their bills, so that we don't the government's not necessarily supporting them. That they're actually they're helping us deliver and take care of things. The vocational center in Transylvania County is magnificent, and this is how they're helping us. Cool. Also, I didn't mention it, but the compost from all our goods that we see, the environmental club from Brevard High School comes down and takes all of our um, uh, compost and puts it in their garden and in their greenhouses, and throughout the year they learn how to raise things, and in the summer we get, we get all the food that they raised. Wow. So we're using the compost that way, plus Queens Farm and, and some local farmers come and pick, take things too. So. So when you're talking community, you're really talking community. I'm talking come unite, because actually we can solve social problems. It just takes us all being there and being present to it. And this is proactive peacemaking. If people are in crisis and you can help them find some peace and help them feel more comfortable, then we are performing for those who have less amongst us. Amen. Amen. I think that that's what we're doing. Um, so today, what they're going to get here, um, some of the grocery stores have extra food, so they donated them to us. And so they will get a sandwich, some sweet potatoes, a, a fresh fruit salad, the, the fresh fruit salad and the garden salad. And they're going to get a piece of dessert that was donated from one of the grocery stores. And some bread, which actually came donated by this gentleman here today. He brought his own bread. How great is that? That is really cool. Is one of the volunteers too? Nope, this is a sales rep. <laughs> oh, this is a sales rep. Oh, see here, this is including oh, yeah. So this gentleman here is the one you brought. Where it's uh, one, of the one of the camps, right? In the kitchen of one of the camps. Yeah, yeah. And Dick here works with us regularly, too, and his son right here. Yeah, we so, heard that he came up here from Florida. It's a long way to come yeah. to help work in the soup kitchen, isn't it? <laughs> That's it. I've been fed before by folks like this, and I'm glad to help out. Absolutely. That's it. That's it. You I count know. us on the one day we don't have church ladies everywhere, which is also kind of interesting. Really? You, wow, this is it's never, staff. never an all male staff here. Yeah. You know, but this, so it's a little different today. One of our members, in fact, CJ, is not with us. He's sick today. So he is too bad. He's one of the elderly gentlemen who help us out. So uh, he would normally be here on this day. So. Well, we'll just have to come back again and do some more videos. That's right.